for our makeup tutorial for Time the Infamous Week and I'm excited. So I went ahead and put on my brows already and I used the Ardell Medium Brown Brow Pomade. And this stuff dries out so fast you guys. You can see how full mine is and it's dried out. It dries out at about this point. So just to let you guys know, and this is medium brown. So let's go ahead and start with our moisturizer, the Total Moisture from Benefit. And I take about this much, and we're just going to apply that. Oh, and also I just have on my towel on my head because uh, my wigs get in my way when I'm doing my makeup. So even at home, I never do my makeup with my wig on. I do my makeup first. We're also going to put on our Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme Lip Gloss because I put this on right away. I apply it two to three times a day before my makeup application. And that gets your lips really plump. And my cold sore has gone away. There's a little scar there, but that'll... Okay, so now it's time to go ahead and prime our eyes. So I'm taking the MAC 24 Hour Eye Extend Base. And I'm putting that all over. Okay, so that's on good. Now we are going to take our MAC Paint Stick. And this is in the color Pure White. You guys know I love this thing. This one is gone. This is the end of it. And I purchased a new one and the formula is way different. This one is super dry. Like, it's not as thick, I don't feel like, than the real one. But anyway, I'm just going to have to keep using this old one. Hopefully, oh, the other one starts working better. highlight which is vanilla by Mac looks like this it has that really pretty gold iridescence in there so now we're moving into our beauty killer palette and this is what it looks like gold trim as a mirror and here are the colors so we're going to take this color which is called Courtney this really nice nude right here and I'm just taking my blending brush and getting that in there and you just want to start applying this to the crease Okay, you guys, so this is what it should look like so far. We just want a nice, heavy transition color in there. And now we're taking this super gorgeous color called Star Power. Okay, so once that's done, we're just going to go in with our flat brush and reapply on the lid because when you're swirling that much, it does knock off that product off of your lid. So you just want to really make sure this is nice and intense. And then I'm just lightly going to move in with my brush with the pink with just whatever's left on your brush. Because I don't want this inner corner intense. I don't want there to be a huge color block inside. Now I'm going to go in with Stars and Rockets by MAC. And this one is super cool. This was one of the first colors I ever purchased. 
So it looks like this, kind of a purple and a blue iridescent, gorgeous. So I'm just going to get a small amount of that and just put it right on my tear duct area. And I do not want this too intense. I just want it to be slightly on there. And then I'm going to take his palette and I'm going to use the color Princess. And it's this really light lilac metallic color. And I'm just going to add just a tad of that just to lighten it up a little. And now we're going to take our Fascinating Eye Coal by MAC, just a white eyeliner pencil. And I'm going to put that in my wet line. Oh my gosh. This never ever tickles and for some reason it's like tickling. So I have my base on the bottom and it's just clear so I didn't think you guys needed to see that. So now I'm taking Stars and Rockets with my small angle brush and I'm just putting this at the bottom. And I'm just going in with Princess just a little bit. And I just take my simple eyeliner from MAC, the Boot Black Liquid Liner. Okay, so it'll look like that. And in the meantime, so that things speed up, I do start putting my first layer of lash glue on my lashes at this time. So I'll show you guys which ones I'm using. And these are mink lashes. I went and checked my PO box and this company sent me some lashes called Silver Side Lashes. It says, Hope Lashes for High Fashion Babes. This is called Power. So I love these lashes. Oh, and actually, they sent me this really gorgeous thank you card. It looks like this. And she gave me a handwritten note. And I actually wore the lashes before I checked the note because I was just kind of rushing. And then I went back and looked and they sent a coupon code for 15% off, you guys. So I will have that info below as well. It's all capital time 15. And she also says that her mink lashes are 100% cruelty free. So thank you so much for these lashes. So I'm just going to start putting my lash glue on. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop some mascara on. And this is the Dior Show Mascara, which I love. I still just cannot find a better mascara. But you guys have been telling me about the Marc Jacobs mascara. So I did order that and I'm going to check that out and see how that is. So I'm excited for that. Aren't those just gorgeous? So there's those. Okay my loves, now we're moving on to our skin. So I'm going to use my usual cocktail for my foundation. And that's the NARS Sheer Glow in Barcelona. And then I do one pump of the MAC Studio Fix Fluid in MC37. And then I just mix that around with my finger and then we're going to apply this. And I'm using my Marc Jacobs The Face 2 brush. And I just washed this yesterday and used it once. And I find that if you clean this every single day, you're just going to keep sucking up your foundation over and over. So I go about a good five uses before I clean this foundation brush. And 
And make sure to leave a comment below if you guys want to see an updated skincare routine. So let me give you a close up of that. Looking good. So now it's time to do our concealer, well, our highlight. And I'm using NC20 Pro Longwear blah, 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 Foundation. Oh, you guys, I'm just so hot in here and I need to run to the bathroom too, so I can't think. <laughs> but you just put that concealer on there. And then I take my MAC Studio Conceal and Correct Duo. I love this little guy. And I take one thing of mid yellow. The sticker on this side came off as you guys know, but this is um, some type of peach color it's called. And then I just mix that all together. And now it's like this perfect color. It's not too light for my skin tone. Just applying this under our eye. Okay, you guys, so, oh, I ran to the restroom. So I had a chance to let this dry just a little bit. And you guys, this is the story. You know the sponge I always use for the under eye powder? Well, I couldn't find it. Then I found this in my new Studio Fix powder, you know, the sponge. And I was like trying to stretch it so it wasn't as thick and it was going perfect and then out of nowhere it broke in two. So I literally had to use this for my under eye powder. So yeah. So I'm taking the MAC Pro Set Powder in Invisible and I mixed a little bit of that with Soft Yellow as well. Then I'm just putting it under my eye. You want to make sure your creases under your eyes are smoothed out one last time so nothing sets in any lines you may have. And yesterday I was just kind of testing out the Anastasia contour kit again trying to see if I find something that I really like so yesterday I did go in with this top middle one and this is the medium to dark contour kit oh duh we have to put our face powder on so grab your powder brush and the powder you use this is C4 by MAC And without any extra product on our brush, we're just going to wipe this away slash blend it. Okay, so now we're moving on to the contour. So we're just going to get that going. So it looks like that. And now I'm just going to take my contour brush and I'm going to take, let me think, what did I take? Yes, I took the Riri bronzer, you guys. This thing is so old, but this bronzer is the bomb.com. This is the best bronzer I've ever gotten. So we're just applying this now. Okay, there's my contour for now. Now, I just did a whole bunch of stuff on my cheeks, you guys. I was kind of experimenting. So first, let's see. So I took the two of these. It's Double Definition Extra Dimension Skin Finish by MAC. So you just want to find something that's shimmery and brown. And it looks like that. 
the MAC 137. Because I wanted to do a rose gold cheek. And I was going to use Stereo Rose by MAC, but I do not see where that went. So I just have to make my own by mixing this bronze and a pink. And now you want to take the Anastasia Glow Kit in Gleam. And we're going to take the color Hard Candy. You guys know I told you about this color. I just cannot get it to come up good on my camera for you guys. You just it just doesn't do it justice what it is it is like a pink bronze color that's exactly how it is so it has that pretty pink in there oh no you guys oh I forgot such an important step on top of my foundation oh I applied the crushed pearl that's why my highlight yesterday was just on fleek like no other so that is disappointing because that is a big way on how you can get a super awesome highlight but oh well we're just gonna have to work with this so just go ahead and concentrate this as much as you can right here oh it just doesn't it's just not the same so you guys make sure you do not forget that step. I'm so mad at myself. And I also mixed a little bit of this as well on there. This more golden one. So yeah, my highlight is going to be a little bit splotchy now because it's just not as smooth. Okay, so now we're going to move on to our lower lash line. So I'll go ahead and zoom us in a little bit more again. Oh no, I when I went like this to show you guys the pink, I accidentally just jacked the green till up and it's all over my table. So I'm going back into that hot pink, you guys, with my small pencil brush and you want to make sure you hit, tap this off so good so that you don't have fallout. And now I'm just kind of blending this and making it a little thicker, blurring it a little more. And it's so important that you are putting your mascara on the lower lash line, so I'm going to do that real quick. Okay you guys, so we're moving on to lips and I am going to be using, first we're going to start with the Jeffree Star Liquid Lipstick in Queen Supreme. Super pretty color, it's a pinkish purple. The doe foot applicator is, am oh, the doe foot applicator is amazing. So let's go ahead and apply this. And this is the first liquid lipstick I've purchased from Jeffree Star and I am impressed. I do love it. So there's the lip color dry. Which is just gorgeous in person. Okay, so there's the second layer and we're going to let that dry as well for a second. Okay, so now all I did was I went ahead and took stripped down lip pencil by MAC because I was just experimenting to see how it would look with the liner. So this is my next step. And then I went ahead and took my lip mix because I was just experimenting. That's why I'm using so many. Remember you guys, I grabbed this in mid-tone nude. So there's a little dot. And that's what it looks like. And it sits to the satin finish, which is gorgeous. And I just take a little bit of, on my finger. And 
start blotting it. Because I felt like the Jeffree Star color by itself was just a lot with the eyes. So I just wanted to see what it would look like, mute it down a little. And then it's turning into this gorgeous powdery pink, but it's still pretty vivid. And then last but not least, I grabbed my Illamasqua lip gloss and this is in the color absorb and i heard about these from shan xo a long time ago so yes i love this and i just use a little bit did this so that there would be just a little bit of a gloss effect so there's the lip and here is the complete look you guys I really hope that you enjoyed it oh of course we have to fix plus so as far as what I can tell about the beauty killer palette from what I've used the two color no the three colors I've used I really 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 love this palette it is just perfect for me, I feel like. I remember how I finished off the look. I took this Bread for Beauty blush from MAC, which I've had for ages and I literally used it yesterday. And I just got a little bit of this, like literally a little. And I just dabbed it a little on my cheeks. And then that just kind of brought out the rose gold like in real life you can really tell so yes you guys oh my gosh two days down three to go for time the infamous week and yes you guys until next time i will see you later hey, dip, hey, dip, hey, dip, hey, dip.